Protective, she's the man with the plan, guiding us through the digital land. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to go over a Cronus True Image 2025. I just had the opportunity to do this. I am sponsored by Acronis, and we're going to install the product, and we're going to do it right from the beginning, so here we go. So we're going to do a custom installation because I want to see what is actually new, if anything, with Acronis True Image 2025. So we're going to do custom installation, and we're going to see what it's going to do the ins installation of. So it's back up and and core protection, anti-ransomware protection, cryptomining detection, and video conferencing protection, real-time protection, antivirus scan, and web filtering. Now, most of us already have some sort of protection. Cronus True Image is an imaging program, all right? It's not an antivirus program. So these added features are not necessarily needed for a Cronus true image. However, there's a different way of looking at it. So if you're creating an image, you don't want the image to be infected. Now I already have malware bytes installed on here. So we're going to uncheck those two for now because it'll interfere with my current malware or antivirus program because you never want to install two because they essentially cancel each other out. So I don't want to malfunction either program when we do this. So we're going to do the backup and core protection, which I'm not really quite sure what that is. So we're going to hit install. And we are currently doing the installation process. The shortcut is finally there. It's not quite finished yet. But a Cronus True, True Image is one of my and only imaging programs that I actually use. I've been using Acronis 2020 since I was sponsored back in the day, and I'm still using it because it works really, really well. I find it uh, having the ability to actually even do RAID configurations. Now, this is interesting. It automatically opened up a web browser, so you want to click Next. It's going through a, a simple tutorial. So and it's teaching me how to do it. So choose a Cronus Cloud as a destination. That's if you want to store your image in the cloud versus keeping it locally. Because there's so many ways of doing a Cronus backup, which is nice. You can actually do, you can clone, which is nice. So if you already have a drive ready to go and your drive is an operation, you want to take one drive and go to the no another one, exact clone. You have a 500 gig drive, it's almost full, and you want to go to a two terabyte drive, you can clone them. And you, now you go to a larger disk, Remove the original, pop in the new one, bang, you're done. So we hit next. Activate your Acronis Cloud Storage Trial. Next. Uh, start backup process. Next. Uh, now it's time to create a bootable rescue media, which is what I recommend wholeheartedly. This is the my absolute favorite part of a Cronus true image. Absolutely. You boot off of a of a of a thumb drive or an M.2 drive. You can actually get a USB to M.2 by the way, and it works absolutely amazing and super freaking fast. I will show a picture of it in uh, on this video and I will have a link in the description below to purchase one of these things so you can create a ultra fast a Cronus tool. It's amazing. We click next here. Now it's telling you how to do it. Rescue Media Builder. Uh, connect the USB drive. Attach the USB drive to the computer to choose it from among other destinations when it appears. Which is I, what I recommend. If you're doing backups, I mean, you can do so many different things for backup processes. Um, like you can stick it to the cloud. You can have a dedicated NAS or a dedicated DAS disk attached storage versus a network attached storage. And you can automatically have your system do incremental backups, images to your DAS. So if, especially if you're in a production environment, 
you're creating music or you're doing video editing or you're doing um, at, at your mission critical data. I mean, even personal, you know, like a gamer who games for a living or just for fun and you don't want to lose your your stuff. This is the optimal way to do a full backups, incremental. It just this is sick, man. I love this software. This is my favorite, absolute favorite imaging software. Okay, imaging. This is the leader. I believe is the best product ever. You've listened to my other videos in the past of Acronis. It has never let me down. I love the fact that it actually can do RAID. Uh, configurations it can actually see it it's awesome the older versions of Cronus did not support it the newer of 2020 and up does and uh, let's continue so next hooray I'm done so if I want to repeat those instructions I could so that was the introduction so let's start the application good all right so this is obviously running Windows 10 and um, now the process that everything is installed. So I can do a backup now and it'll go to the cloud. However, we could change the destination. The interface of this product is really, really great. Now, I love the USB creation tool. It's one of my biggest, biggest things to do. Um, and is how I use this product. Acronis Universal Restore. Now, this is freaking sick. This thing is absolutely amazing. So if you're going from one platform to the other, you use Acronis Universal Restore. So the instructions below will help you create Acronis Universal Boot Media and to recover your system to dissimilar hardware. It allows you to go from one platform to the other because if you take an Intel chipset and you try to restore it into an AMD chipset, it will blue screen on you. This will prevent that from happening. Now, it tells you the instructions of what to do and it tells you there's a download here. It says click download to obtain the universal beat boot, boot media builder. Run the, run the download file and install the Media Builder. In the Tools section, click Acronis Universal Restore. Acronis Universal Boot Media Builder will start. So you download this, and then it will automatically run the... It's a really cool process. That will be a separate video. <clears throat> okay, we, I just installed or turned on an external USB. It's a 4 terabyte drive. It should come online shortly, and we're going to probably hear it. There it is. <laughs> It just went live. Okay, so that is drive E. So we're going to, we have to wait. Oh, there we go. Acronis finally found it. We're going to change destination. And, um, wow, it actually sees my Terra station. That's pretty slick. So this is my external drive. We're going to go here. I added a backup. And I added drive C only. Because um, I don't want to back up the entire computer, which is here. So that's what you do. You hit the add backup. You ch change it to whatever name you want to create it. And then we go to disks and partitions if you want to do a single disk. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on disks and partitions. And since it's only drive C that I'm interested in, as you saw that I have a games drive, my, my boot drive, we just want to image drive C, so we hit OK. Change destination. We're going to drive E, and now we're going to back up now. And uh, we're going to cur we're going to skip and just go to backup only. And then now we'll be backing up drive C only to the external hard drive, which is going, and it's going to determine how much the um, backup is, and that'll be it. And then we'll be finished. So we're just going from the boot drive to the external, creating the file. And the file type, by the way, if you're interested, is TIBX. That's the file. And I, obviously, whatever the drive name is here, is here. 
And if you wanted to name, rename it like, you know, gaming machine or the name of the machine, drive C, whatever, so you remember what it is because drive C means nothing if you have 15 computers. So you might want to have a better description of what that is. You can rename this after it's completed, and that's it. All right, so it started, and it looks like it's going pretty quickly, considering I'm shocked. Uh, it order, it automatically excludes certain file types, like um, swap file, page file, um, any temp folders or any temp files that are there. It only backs up what is actually needed. And that's that. As you can see, it's going. And it's only it's zipping along. Look how quick that's going. Those minutes are dropping down fast. It's not really minutes. So remember, it is an M.2 going to an external 3 point, USB 3.0 drive, so it's really booking. So let's go to protection. And I'm obviously, I did not install the, um, this process, but if, you're, if you already have an antivirus program or whatever, you might want to abandon it and use a Cronus for these features alone. And then you have identity protection. This is crazy. This is a imaging program. Why would you want to? Oh, whatever. I mean, I again, guys. I did get this for free. I can't. I am. Um, I. I. I have to be honest with you guys. Even though I did get the product for free, I can't promote this portion of it because I'm a firm believer of another product, which I've already mentioned. And um, an imaging program should not be into antivirus and, and, and ransomware stuff. I mean, there's other dedicated programs that are designed to do just solely that. They don't do imaging. They just focus on antivirus and stuff like that and any malware and any toolkit and malicious, any malicious websites. They're focused on that and they're not focused on imaging and other things. So that said, and I'm a firm believer of that because this is what I do. I do product reviews. So then we have archive. You can archive your large files and stuff like that. Something new. Syncing. Let's see. Sync your files and folders between your PC and a Cronus Cloud. So if you want to. So similar to like OneDrive or Google Drive. Now you have a Cronus to do the same thing. A third party product. Now the tools. Let's get back into the tools. Clone disk, rescue media builder, which is my favorite part. Try and decide. Perform any unsafe operation in the try mode and then decide if you want to apply the changes. There you go. System cleanup, cleaning up any temporary files or whatnot. Not familiar with this. That'll be a whole separate video. So every section you see here will be a separate video. And let's go back up to rescue media builder. We're going to do this right now. Click the Media Builder. We're going to do Linux-based media. And since I already have a drive in the system, and it's already set up for a Cronus image, if you wanted to, you can actually download the ISO file and create your own. But we're going to let a Cronus do it, and we're going to proceed. All right, and we're done. Now remember, that is a rocket machine. I mean, device. And there it is. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we will see you next time. In the world of lights and bits, where tech can make a strip, there's a guru with a knack for every digital tip. Show tech's the name, he's the one you'll seek. From gadgets to software, he's the one you'll meet. So if your tech's in a tangle, don't you fear. Show tech's here, let his advice draw near. With his help, you'll surely find in this digital world. Tech Tips, he's the man with the plan Guiding us through the digital land With his wisdom and his wit Every tech, whoa, he's really fix it